What is going on my dude? Sasher here back again with another Genshin Impact video and as always if you guys like the content please make sure to hit that like and subscribe down below. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and comment what you think about today's video and of course we are talking about as the title says why I don't think anything good for like system updates is coming to Genshin Impact until 3.0 when Sumeru unleashes. Uh, it's, it'll be released soon. You know, at this point, because we're only a couple updates away from when they usually switch to the, you know, point oh system or like, I think, what is it? One, two, three, three updates away. But this is why I don't think anything is coming to Genshin Impact. That's going to be system updating. And as you guys know, on this channel, I've talked about many times when I think that there's certain aspects of the game that need to be changed, like, you know, the resin system. The, you know, freaking level up system with the books and stuff. It kind of feels a little bland. Uh, very hard to level up your characters and keep resources when new characters come out. And then, of course, we always have to talk about the fact that artifact drops are terrible. I want to keep playing the game, but again, I'm stuck behind resin. Pity system, so on and so forth. Now, we are on the verge of getting Ito and Goro, uh, depending on when you watch this video. Like, uh, I plan to release this today's Saturday. Plan to release, plan to release this tomorrow on Sunday. Uh, Sunday, that would be December 12th. Or at least that's the hope. Again, we'll see how it goes. If it releases late, my apologies. But Ito and Goro are coming out in a couple days, right? And we already know that Ito and Goro have this new meta shift. In, in, in essence. Especially when you're building an all-geo team. Especially with Goro. Now. That already is a really cool concept, but I, at this point, I always play all the different characters, so I'm always enjoying the different characters. I want to see what system updates there are. Now, we're going to be going into 2.4 afterwards, which is Shen He and Yunjin, and at the same time, when we had version 1.0, the Invitation to the Wind Bloom Festival, we didn't, we actually got a bunch of uh, system updates and stuff, as you guys can see here. The biggest ones that were really, like, super cool was that we got condensed resin. We were able to uh, use multiple fragile resin at a time. Uh, they added the cooking crafting, or sorry, cooking function where instead of auto cooking all the time, you can do manual cook if you're crazy. Um... And then, yeah, like, really, there was a lot of different stuff, but at the same time, this was around a time when Genshin Impact was still being optimized, in my opinion. They were still working on a whole bunch of other stuff. So, while, well, yes, this kind of defeats the purpose of what I'm getting at, this also, you gotta bear in mind, was, let's see, this was back in May? Or, sorry, March. I'm sorry, March. But March of 2021, this was only... Six months since the release of Genshin Impact, and they had a lot of stuff they needed to fix. And at that time, we had no new characters. We had to, or sorry, we had one new character in Rosaria. So Rosaria was the new character. We had the rerun of Child. I think we also had, what else? Didn't we have a rerun of Venti as well? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But I do know that we got Rosaria in that. Uh, but yeah, I digress. So... 1.4 was a little bit of a special case in my opinion. I think that honestly, like, that doesn't change what I'm about to say. Because let's go into version 1.5 when we got the Zhongli rerun and we got Eula for the first time. Uh, they added the Serena Teapot, yeah, which was fantastic. It's a, it's a cool, cool freaking thing. That's for sure. But that was something that was supposed to be added or supposedly was promised at the beginning of the game. So I don't consider that such a change. Like... When it comes to the system itself, like, there wasn't really much added to it. There was the mail pins, which was, eh, you know, mobile updates, compatibility, but that's it. Like, there wasn't really much else going on for that. Uh, then you skip ahead into 1.6 when we had the massive update of the Midsummer Island, which, again, I'm gonna, or not again, but I'm gonna say this, Mihoyo, this is a big, big miss not keeping these islands in there, especially with, you know... Stuff like Dota Coattails and all that, you know, new players would love to get that. I think it, it was a wonderful update. But, um, yeah, we got Kazuha in this update and a Klee rerun, which was cool. Uh, we got a bunch of new weapons, but at the same time, there wasn't really much. If you look here, 
really the new system updates that we got for 1.6 was the dressing room, you know, which was we got Jean and Barbara new dresses and made them all look cute or bad if that if whatever you think is, you know, what I think you're thinking. But yeah, there wasn't really much going on between 1.4 and 2.0 in regards to new system updates outside of getting condensed resin, which was a plus, being able to use multiple fragile resin and all that stuff. And then, of course, you know, getting the dressing room, I guess, and the serrated teapot. The red teapot was good. But again, it comes down to what was promised already. Now, getting into 2.0, which was when we finally went to Inazuma, and we got Ayaka and Yoimiya, which was fantastic. We also got, you know, Sayu, which was dope as well. And then, of course, we scroll down to the systems, and we got Serena Teapot Gardening added. We got the Artifact Strongbox, which made it so that you could put multiple artifacts in and get, uh, like, if you put three, you get one artifact back as, like, a random roll system. We got the Sacred Sakura's Favor, which added new uh, stuff that you could get, basically, free stuff. Uh, Electrograna, which was a fun little mechanic on Inazuma. We got the Inazuma repu uh, Reputation System. Uh, we got the special wish mechanic for the uh, for the weapons so that you could choose which weapon you want after like two pity, which was good because if you look at Tectone's video for Sapahoma, that could have been really, really needed back then for sure instead of him spending like, I think it was what, a couple thousand from my understanding? I could be wrong. Like Tectone, if, you, if you're watching this, and I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. But anyways, crafting bench function with the mystic offerings. You know, uh, commissions quests were updated. So they had a bunch of stuff in just 2.0. Now, granted, again, take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. This is just my personal opinion. But I think that more updates happened for 2.0 than it did in 1.5 and 1.6. I would say 1.4 in that, but 1.4 did have some stuff. But again, it was coming off the cusp of what was already like kind of promised to us and what needed to be optimized. Or sorry, 1.5 had that Serena teapot and 1.4 was after a lot of complaints, especially with the resin system itself. So and sorry that I'm a little bit scattered on this video, guys. I'm trying to like kind of forge my thoughts, but it's a little difficult, especially like with my thoughts going, well, what if, but what not? But what if, nah, that's not going to happen type stuff. So personally, I feel that once 3.0 hits, it's going to be a it's going to be a banger, guys. I'm just saying 3.0 is going to hit so hard. I we're in my opinion, I feel like we're going to get our first Dendro character right off the bat because we're going to the Dendro thing. Obviously, I can't wait for the Archon uh, from what I hear, you know. It's going to look it's going to look hot, but. You know, and I feel like there might be some resin changes again by that time. I don't know. Like, I really want to believe that there's going to be changes to the resin system. Uh, because, again, I, I wish that MiHoYo would understand that people want to play their game. And I, I feel that the best way to do that is instead of putting a full-blown resin system to where, you know, you only get this amount to play this many domains. Give us that, um, give us the, or keep the same amount, if anything. And just make it to where we have a guaranteed drop of these artifacts, like these big artifacts, and then bump down the drop rate of the other artifacts like significantly because then people would actually play more. You'd have a lot more people playing constantly and then, you know, daily you'd have those times when people are influxed in and then they're like, okay, well, do I want to grind out more artifacts today and hope for the best or not? You know, it's the same, like take Destiny 2, for example, you know, you could get a pinnacle drop or you could get powerful drops or you could get random rolls of weapons like right outside of that. You're not guaranteed to get that specific weapon, but it's a possibility, you know, and I know that I'm using Destiny 2 as a first person shooter compared to Genshin Impact. That's a action adventure uh, role playing game that has gotcha elements. But at the same time, you know, people constantly play Destiny 2 for a reason. You know, and I wish that maybe MiHoYo would take that step in the direction. You know, not saying that they have to, but it is something to consider. So, but that's besides the point. The point is, I feel that by 3.0, like at 3.0, that's when we're going to be getting a bunch of really, really good uh, system updates. However, until then, we might get a couple miners because I feel like they want to build hype to 3.0 because, you know, 
it's it's again it's miHoYo. They want to they want to keep this game going, and this game's still going very strong. You guys have proved that, you know, espe like especially the people who are diehard fans like myself. But at the same time, I feel as though they're not in the position to just go, okay, well, you know, let's go ahead and throw you something really good now. I would say probably by mid 3.0 is when we might see a bunch of stuff like where they'll be like, okay, now we're going to constantly update the systems consistently depending on all that, because by that time we'll be hitting almost two years. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Sorry. I had to, ugh, my nose got clogged up a little bit, but what do you guys think? Do you guys think that the uh, systems will be updated pretty good in 2.4? Honestly, the, Stream is about like what two weeks away just about it's crazy to think about like we're almost in 2.4 this released in july like this is nuts to me like it's it's been a long while but i've been enjoying every little bit of it it's minus a few obvious uh things that happen but what do you guys think do you guys think that we're going to be getting some good system updates uh in 2.4 2.5 and maybe 2.6 or are you in agreement with me that we're not going to get some good system updates until three let me know in the comments below. As always, guys, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to entertain you. We will be back with another video. Probably the next video will be the Ito summoning banners. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Anyways, guys, love you all to death. Please be safe out there. And as always, we'll catch you guys in the next stream. Take care, guys.